Hi, welcome to Off Topic. Uh, we've been gone a really long, long time. time. We did our last show in July. We're really close today. We went to a concert filled with lesbians last night, so that's mm -hmm. why Erin still got her, her, I got my flannel, her on. flannel on. I like that. <laughs> it was very sexy. Thank you. That's the look I was going for. <laughs> so um, today we're going to talk about, well, a few things. I had um, a few questions that came in. Um, one was, uh, why is douchebag it? an insult. First of all, what? I wondered what the origin was of douchebag. And doesn't it sound French? Douche. Douche. Douche bag. Just sounds French to me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. Douche. Sounds French. I don't know. I think enema would be a better insult. The whole idea of an enema really freaks me out. I had to do that once. For... Like give it to somebody or have one? <laughs> no, I've never given one of you. Hell no! I'm not really a butt person. Really? I like butts. I mean, I like looking at butts, but I don't want to be like touching and exploring them. Really? Uh -uh. I know a lot of girls who say it's the best thing ever to have anal sex, and I just I let the husband try it, and I just wasn't that. You know, really? It wasn't. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't something that I'd sign up to do again. Hmm. Uh. Well, you should see if Nick would reciprocate. You know. Oh hell no! He would freak out. If I even go to grab his ass, he's uncomfortable. That's a, that's a, that's homophobia right there. I bet. I bet. Maybe. Just just latent. Just internal. Yeah, just latent own. homophobia. You know, if if and I've heard that before, um, from straight men. You know that they will not allow, <clears throat> even like a finger in the ass. I had an ex that that let me do that. I've heard that. I mean, it's supposed to be. It's been in Playboy. I mean, that's where he saw. He read it in Playboy. Oh well, then it's you, legit. You know, if this it's is because the to be prostate the best, is right great. there, so you're stroking the prostate. That's great. Um, you know, as an insult, I did a little bit of research. <clears throat> There's not. I mean, let's see. Um, Time on our hands. I work hard. She I work does. hard for my money. Erin said she wants to start a band. Yes, so I we want went to, to see Brandy. We, so we went to see Brandy Carlisle last night. Oh, which was the which, best concert. It was. It was good. Okay. Well, I thought it was the best. I know, it was a little country for me. It was not country. It, what part of that was country? Other almost than any cash. No, that was good. Almost anything off of her new album was much more country than I the disagree. other. I disagree. I think it's half and half. Anyways. Anyway, it was a good concert. She's yes. really a, a great performer. She's a great so tiny, performer. and I can't believe her. That big of a voice comes out of someone that little. Yeah, it was it was good. We had fun, and Aaron gave me a I'm whole bunch of shit about um, you know being old and not able to stay up late. And um, she did good. And I did not only did I probably stay up later than Aaron. I also got up at quarter to six while Still Aaron later, stayed then? in. Did you get some action when you got home? No, you said I couldn't. Yeah, that's like listening to your parents. I don't want to listen to that. Yeah, older sister. To be fair. That, that'd be great. I um, slept until quarter after 11. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice sleeping down here. It, it, this is a comfortable couch. So, douchebag from Columbia University. A noun. A person, male or female, who inspires anger, frustration, or extreme despite in another, uh, in another individual. Yeah. Dislike. And it says despite. It, fucking Columbia Columbians. University. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Columbians. Um, and I don't mean the country. <laughs> Yeah, no, nothing wrong with Colombians. You like their cocaine? They make coffee and I think they're cute. Aww. Aww. Oh yeah, and coke. <laughs> Not that so, I condone that. On, uh, on Urban Dictionary, there are no less than 427 listed variations on the terms douche and douchebag. Um, some of them I, I thought were kind of funny. Um, given the number of variations, some as nonsensical and irre irrelevant as douchebagel, Douche waffle <laughs> or douche rocket, because douche rocket really puts an image in your head. Yeah, sure you know? does. <laughs> That's that like a power my, washer. One that makes me clench my thighs closed. Ouch! <laughs> wow. Yeah, I like that one. That was good. Power washer. Um, so they they pretty much um, they pretty much sum it up by saying uh, the vast amount of different definitions for them and the apparent confusion about or uh, limited association with the actual material 
a referent of the word, it seems that douchebag is a word without a fixed meaning. So Let me not only spin off do that. I do I not have an origin of the douche bag. So that Colombian did all that research and found out that it's the same thing you really, knew before. Yeah. Let me just go off on that so that your power washer image gave me a thought, made me think of something that came up on New Year's. That <laughs> oh my, my sister-in-law and I have been, have discussed several times and she said I just can't stop thinking about it. So I spent New Year's with um, my brother's, brother and sister-in-law, my husband and I and another couple. And later on one of our friends uh, stopped over. And we were discussing, first of all I found out one of my friends who Nick's and my friends, who used to be my roommate, is a swinger. Him and his wife are swingers. That just shocked me. I was like, whoa, I don't think he meant to say that, but he was drinking. Do you Anyways, need to say that here? Uh, yeah, I don't care. He, Nobody knows who he is. <coughs> so anyways, but yeah, that was shocking. But so all of a sudden the conversation comes up, of course, of which it always does when you have a bunch of couples sitting around about sex. And... Our friend Tony has a new girlfriend who I really like. Are you like. supposed to say all these people's names yeah. or do I bleep them no, out too? Fine. You all right. Can it. Um, and so they proceed to tell me, she tells us that he doesn't, it won't go down on her. Okay, who the fuck dates or marries somebody that won't go down on them? We were just talking about this I last know. night in the car. I can tell you right now, like, that's the number two reason I, named, I married my husband. And if he wouldn't have. Pfft, there wouldn't have been, I would never moved in with them. I would, wouldn't have made it past the second date. I don't care how much you like somebody. That? Never? Well, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Don't you agree? Well, yeah. And the same thing for As chicks. long as I'm with a woman, yeah. Well, yeah, it's different. But I'm going to say it from the straight girl's point of view. Same thing with girls. If you don't go down on your man, don't be pissed off if he goes and gets a blowjob from somebody else because it's human That's nature. That's bullshit. Uh-uh. I don't First think... First of all, no, not only okay, do I like I it, I enjoy... That's fine, but because then you talk about it, you work it out, or, you know, you just don't go right. fucking cheat No, I'm not somebody. saying right away, but if... I'm sorry, honey, but you won't let me ejaculate right. in your face. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go get a hooker. No, I'm not saying that, but okay. I'm gonna invest in a pole master. What I think the worst thing chicks do is they... Okay, they first start dating a guy... And they're all, you know, oh, all over them, and oh, I'll give you blowjobs everywhere, blah, blah, blah. And then they get married, and it's just, that shit's cut off. You can't expect somebody, if they have this baseline of sex that they expect. I understand it dips, and there's dips and valleys. I get that. But there better be, there better be more mountains than there are valleys. If you're just going to, all of a sudden, you get married, and all of a sudden, drop off. Same thing for men here, too. Just drop off. That's, that's bullshit. Then, you know what, you're just inviting them to cheat. You know, so what you need to do is bring some spice into into the situation. Exactly. Right? Which brings us to what we're hoping to be our topic for February um, is a show on sex toys. I'm going to giggle a lot in that one, I think. <laughs> as long as the word pussy doesn't come up, I should be okay. <laughs> yeah, you can't say the word pussy to share your she giggles like a little kid. Um, but uh, a friend of a friend or an acquaintance of uh, a friend um, is uh, owns an online sex store, sex toy store, not a sex store, because I think that's something completely it, different, perhaps illegal. So perhaps sex toy, let's sex put the toy, toy store. Uh, and um, I haven't talked to this person yet, um, but I'd like to get her uh, to call in and um, and take questions and and things like that. You know what I'd like to hear is the funniest. Well, although this probably wouldn't happen as much in an online store. I think as a couple, and I'm, I don't get embarrassed very easily, but I can say, like, there's some things I'm not going to walk into a store and hand a cashier to check out, <laughs> like, at a sex toy. Did I ever tell store. you my story about, about my, my trip to buy a, a, a dildo? Okay. Mm -mm. I am very like as a young Sherry? Or? This is, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I was, it was in Tucson. And sure you weren't embarrassed by that haircut you had for a while. <laughs> <laughs> so it had to be like uh, 91, I think 91. Okay. So yeah, that was a long time ago, right? So <clears throat> so I go into a store, and I'd never been inside of a, a sex store before. So really? It, yeah, no, I did. Well, I left home at 17, You're and then I was lesbian. in... Just because I've never been in a sex toy store doesn't mean that, you know, I don't know how to do stuff. <laughs> See, you didn't miss, miss eyebrows, I'm just saying. <laughs> I got big hands and a long tongue. I'm all right. See, but mm, go ahead. Proceed. Anyway, 
Are you questioning my, my sexual abilities? Excuse no. me, we'll be back. Uh, you're going to be back in about a half an hour. She'll be sweaty and she's lying. And she red. Ain't, she ain't going to hang for no half hour. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. This is something that we've been Another talking topic. about. Uh, <laughs> one of our coworkers said something about, you know, we were talking about a report. We got a really, you know, there was a really good score. And he goes, you know, getting this really great score, that that's great and everything, but, you know, it's going to be a big, really, it's going to be a big disappointment when next month, you know, we're not able to do it. And he says, it's just like when you have, you know, a marathon rocking 35 minute, you know, sex session with your wife. And then, you know, the next time when you're only able to go 15, it's, you know, the, it's just a big letdown. And I just looked at him like, 35 minutes, huh? Wow, so happy I'm a lesbian. <laughs> and what was my response when you told me? I think 15 minutes sounds pretty good. <laughs> That's not a dig on my husband. You're going to be in so much fucking trouble. It's just because I got a magic pussy laugh. You know you want to. No, I, you know, I almost wondered, like, is that... I, and that's another thing that I... Maybe people can give their opinions on. This will have to be the straight folks, because you don't have to worry about this so much. You don't have this hazard. But is it better to have a guy that can go consecutive times, like several times. Like, I've been with guys that they'll last pretty long, but it's a one-shot deal, and then they're literally. done. Literally. <laughs> literally, it's a one-shot deal, and then they're done, and you're sitting there like, fuck. Or is it better to have a guy that comes quicker, but you have multiple, can, can go and go and go? Which one's better? I can have the best of both worlds. I know, you fucking suck. Uh, after Why an hour and a half... born gay? After an hour and a half or two hours... Then we're done. I this mean, fucking there's, sucks. Why couldn't I? You know, how some people. I say, mean, it's not like that all the time because sometimes you just don't want to. You do know, that. being gay is a choice because if I had a choice, I'd be gay. <laughs> well, then you should the be gay. The sex would be better, and your husband would be so happy if you started bringing chicks choice, home. I like, I like penises, and I keep telling you, I've got several upstairs. Which brings me back I like to my dudes. I can't help it. Like I'm at, like I'm shamed. Isn't this like kind of yeah. vice versa? Damn it! Why am I straight? I think there might be a camp we can send you to that <laughs> some type of rehabilitation. Get, get straight. Oh wait, no. <laughs> get, instead of the scared straight program, it'll be the scared gay program. They'll just scream at you constantly. You want to talk about somebody who who enjoys cunnilingus? You're in the wrong camp, honey. Dude, <laughs> I know. I know. Maybe they can turn me around or something. Maybe Dude, yeah, they funny. might turn you we around. Should it. <laughs> we should make that into a shirt. What's that? Some about gay camp. <laughs> if you've got an idea for a caption for a t-shirt or a drawing, I went to this. I went to Christian gay camp and I came back, <laughs> and I, now I'm converted. I go into the sex the sex store and I'm looking for a for something. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. <clears throat> so I see this dildo, and and of course it's in the case and there's this guy the scuzzy redneck guy yes wearing a flannel very much like this one That's behind right. the counter and all of the all of the the dildos are are in displayed. the counter they're displayed so i point to one and i go can i have that one and he says God damn it, I wish people would just say what the fuck they want. And I'm like, okay, may I please have that six inch super ballsy cock? Because <laughs> <laughs> by then I was mad. Meanwhile, there's like three guys coming from the from the back room, you know. And I'm Here like, oh. <laughs> they I went need the cock. They went home and beat off to the after <laughs> They a while. went out in the in their car. Gross. So that was that was. So my that's thing. why the online sex shop has been invented, in my opinion. Is Absolutely. So that, you know, you can get your your nipple clips without having to be embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes it easier. Very nice. So um. Oh, I, okay. So are you ready to move on to um to the topic I really want to talk about? Yeah, the today? man thing. Yeah. I have I have something to add in there. Go ahead. Okay. Shoot. So this is something that um that's happened to me many times before. Um, as recently as a few months ago, and, and the person that asked me this question is a really nice guy, and I know that he meant no offense by it, um, and then it happened again uh, to a friend of mine <clears throat> who refuses to call in and participate in the conversation. Um, 
just last week, people coming up to us and saying, so, who's the man? And this is, these are your lesbians. friend was lesbian as right, well, right? Just right, to right. So, okay. yeah, so, you know, and my response... My response to my friend, let me finish. Well, say was, what your reaction was at first. My reaction at first was really, I was really pissed off. Offended. I was, I was offended and, and pissed off and, you know, just, you know, I mean, by definition, there is no man. But, let me interject here, because after we talked about it, you talked to another coworker of ours mm -hmm. about it. So your first reaction is, I agree, like when you first told me, I was like, what a dick, you know? Mm -hmm. But again, this person is not at all a dick. No, Very a nice, nice person. Guy. And then I began to think about it, and I actually talked to my husband about it. And you know, especially if you're not, if you don't have any friends or any, if you're not around people who mm -hmm. are gay, mm -hmm. you all, the only thing that you see about it is the stereotype that you see on TV. Right. Like, I said, like the Will and Grace stereotype. So, and I think so that... So Karen would be the man. <laughs> I would think so. So that tends to be, you do think it's that way. Like even movies, you always see like, oh, there's one butch one and then one that looks like she just came out of Playboy. And I remember telling my husband, you know, not most lesbian couples are not two blonde, gorgeous babes making out as water's cascading down. I'm like, you, you know, sit and fantasize about your fantasy. It's just two normal people. And then when he saw Sherry and TJ at our wedding... The, like two days later, we're on our honeymoon, and we're just talking about who we saw at the wedding and how fun, how much fun we had. And he's like, yeah, I met, you know, I saw, I met Sherry and TJ. He's like, I don't get it. They're both, they're both <laughs> feminine. And I'm like, well, yeah, Nick, they're both women. And he kind of got embarrassed, and he's like. TJ left her strap on in the car. I guess. And he's like, well, no, you know, I mean, they're both, you know, pretty. I thought one of them would be kind of manly, you know. And I'm like, and if, same reaction. At first I was like. God, are you stupid? And then the more I thought about it, I'm like, you know, you that I, I think that's what it is. It's that they don't. It's you're not exposed to it. Yeah. But I also think that happens to straight couples. But and here's the thing. Okay, that's what that's what somebody else said too. You know, it's, it's, you know that that does. It, <clears throat> it's not so much they're using the wrong terminology. Essentially, is what is what these straight people I'm talking to um, keep saying. They don't mean who's the man. Um, they the mean who thing. is the right but and again i'm going to stick to this and i'm not going to back down all lesbian couples i would say the i mean i don't i haven't checked any studies and maybe i should have but i would say the majority of lesbians do not necessarily fall into any type of butch femme no category especially with the younger generation and i can tell you i think it's it's the uh, speaking of the domestic thing nick said me saying it's not 1970 whatever it's just evolved. You can kind of see that couples have evolved right. because it used to be. It's a genera There, there is a generational aspect, and it, it's total. It's almost evolving to where people are finally just accepting that there's no set groups. Like my husband and I, there are some places where I'm definitely the feminine one. For example, I hit a deer and I couldn't pull that big chunk of deer hair out of my car because it just. She asked me to do it. I'm like, you know, I'm not and it's do that. And and Nick mm -hmm. and both Nick and TJ were like, "What's the big deal? Just pull it out," you know. So, I mean, there's some things where he definitely is more that way. But there's also some things where he's definitely more feminine than I am. Like way more. whining and... Whining. Nick whines way more than I do. Sorry, Nick, that domestic, Honey, I, I love that you. domestic comment. I can't, I can't stick up for you anymore, buddy. No. <laughs> and, and, but then, you know, some cooking. If you had to eat something, if you had to choke down something that I made, I feel sorry for you. My husband cooks like, it, it's his... His, everything he makes is amazing. A lot of, lot of famous, most, are most famous chefs men? Probably. And you know, and, and Nick is much show. cleaner than I am. Much cleaner. Anybody is much cleaner That's than Aaron. Not true. I am much cleaner than Aaron. We do I'm a have, clean um, person, I just like clutter. We do have, um, I, I posted this on, on Facebook that I was gonna, gonna do this. Also, um, <clears throat> I set up a, a Skype address for the show. We may, we may, we're still talking about going audio. It would allow us to do, uh, to do shows when we're not and in I the know same you place. Miss my beautiful flannel shirts. And <laughs> um, so if you have Skype and you want to either, um, you know, send us a, a chat through that, or, uh, or if we're able to get this this call in thing going for next month, um, it's ot dot show. Okay. And we still have the email at offtopic at c-spot.net and the blog spot. Um, so I put this uh, I put this basic scenario on Facebook, and we have gotten a few 
a few responses, and I'm just going to pull this over here because it's just a hell of a lot easier. Um, um, this is on the who's the man comment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, one person, uh, another lesbian, said, I've had this happen to me several times. I usually reply something like, well, the man is actually a woman, and she is blah, blah, blah. Uh, I've had people apologize for assuming, had some blush and have no other comments, and had and had some just stare blankly at me. And I think that's that's what where the comment is where, I, like I'm saying, people don't they really don't realize. But they that need it's to. Being, they should. They should. But that's why you gently. Yeah, my response is gen is generally there is no man by definition. If there was a man, I'd be straight, straight. or bi. <clears throat> right. Um, so. She says, whatever the reaction, I always feel better for telling it as it is. I'm not going to live my life uh, caring what others think. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's great. Um, and, and I think that, I think that, um, that there's a, a lot to be said for not living your life uh, caring what other people think. However, we're still affected by it, and it doesn't stop people from coming up well, and saying and the most moronic things to you. And the to thing you. is, is, and I learned this from somebody that I worked with a long time ago, oh, there's like a do, difference do, between... Do, do, do. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> there's a difference between mean people, and there's a difference between people that really just don't know. Right. And It's the same you, when thing you with, with racism people, or, right. or, or uh, When you classism. remind people that don't know, it's, you know, that's better than just, you know, if you just snap at them, they're not going to come to you about something in the future. Right. But if you just explain, you know, I, I understand that that's the stereotype and that's what's spread around, but it's really actually like this, and yeah. you just tell them. You I know. still have to kill all the spiders, okay? You do? TJ's terrified of spiders. See, and I would have thought she'd be the spider killer. No. But maybe because of the, she offered to pull the hair out of my, front of my grill in my car. She used to do hunting and things like that. She also does home improvement stuff, which I wish my husband did. I, I can do home improvement stuff. I'm, I used to do all that stuff, and then she took it over from me. Neither one of us are handy at home. Around the house, we can't really? do anything. Mm, losers. Um, and then um, my father chimed in with uh, the proper terminology is who to man. <laughs> I like that one. Um, a, another uh, a woman I used to work with, a, a straight woman, says... People say that to your face. Am I wrong to think that it is rather offensive? If not offensive, then tasteless. I think clueless is a better word. Yeah, they probably, just yeah. don't know. Yep. And and and, like and, you and said, there's some people that are dicks and just come up and hey, who's the guy? You know, I mean that's different. It's I think it's the swagger they use when they say it that makes them a dick. You know, saying oh yeah, and and those are the same guys that have the visuals in their head of two like right. I said, blonde, big boob chicks and waiting are, for the guy coming. Yeah, in. waiting for the cock to come in. Like hello, lesbian, no cock. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Um, and then another another a regular viewer <clears throat> says, "I would say you need to go back to anatomy class." Then I would ask, "Who the man in your who's the man in your relationship?" Which goes back again to because you say it varies to whoever strapped it on that day. Or, <laughs> I don't know. I did. I, I did. I did actually say well, last that. night she was, but this morning I was. <laughs> Yeah. Well, what happens when you use a double then? Are you both the man? You damn right. <laughs> so then that's all sorts of craziness. Yeah. <laughs> now you're not only you know not straight, but you're gay men. <laughs> I guess that's it. So, uh, so thanks for listening to our random babbling. Until next month. Bye. Yes.